my galaxy, we found gravitational waves. Ah! Hey stargazers, Julia here for D News. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, two black holes collided in a fateful swirling waltz. Just like when you toss a rock into a pond and the kerplunk creates ripples on the surface of the water, this collision sent ripples through the fabric of space-time. And we finally detected one of these ripples, or as researchers call them, gravitational waves. We've been looking for these kinds of waves for a long time. Albert Einstein first proposed their existence in his theory of relativity over a hundred years ago. So we've been searching for them ever since. And just how the ripples in the pond get smaller as they move further from their current Planck point, the ripples in space-time get smaller too. That's why they're so hard to detect. Until now. Today, LIGO, or the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, announced that they found the galactic Kerplunk by detecting or hearing one of the ripples. Shh, listen. Ah, oh, music to my ears. The signal was seen on September 14th last year, but the cataclysmic event that caused it happened nearly 1.3 billion years ago when two black holes collided. While two black holes colliding has been theorized, it hasn't been observed before. The theory goes that two black holes will circle each other and lose energy that's released as gravitational waves. Over time, they will get closer and closer over the course of a few billion years, then finally collide in a fraction of a second. This releases a large amount of mass as energy in the form of gravitational waves. In this case, the black holes were about 30 times the mass of our sun and were moving at half the speed of light in that last fraction of a second. This huge impact sent a shockwave of gravitational waves or ripples in space-time through the universe at the speed of light. But as massive as that collision was, the reverberations that reached us were tiny, like one one-thousandth the diameter of a proton, according to David Wrightsey, the executive director of LIGO. LIGO was able to detect such a tiny wiggle by using two labs, one in Livingston, Louisiana, and one in Hanford, Washington. The labs use massive and precise lasers, like 2.5 mile long laser beams that can read 10,000 times smaller than a proton. These lasers were fired into two L-shaped pipes that bounce light around a series of mirrors. A strain in space-time would change the timing of when the lasers reach their destination. And that's just what happened on that fateful day. The same wiggle showed up on the detectors in the two labs just seven milliseconds apart. And more incredible, these wiggles matched up to what supercomputer models of gravitational waves had already predicted, which were based off of calculations from Einstein's theory of relativity. So it's the real deal. We now have solid evidence of gravitational waves and evidence of binary black holes. And this discovery proves Einstein's theory, finally. We've been searching for these guys for a century. Rumors have it that this discovery could make the shortlist for a Nobel Prize. Why? Well, researchers are hailing that the discovery could be as exciting as when we discovered X-rays. LIGO co-founder says it has opened a new window onto the universe. Studying and tracking gravitational waves will help us better understand black holes, supernovas, other really large space events, and even possibly the fundamental laws of the universe. We'll learn so much more about the universe and how it works as LIGO upgrades their equipment to become more and more sensitive. And in a few decades, the European Space Agency plans to launch a space-based gravitational wave detector. So hopefully more gravitational waves will be detected. If you want to learn more about this amazing discovery, check out the study published in the journal Physical Review Letters. Wow, just wow, guys, so much incredible science happening right now in our lifetime. Einstein would be so proud. If gravitational waves seem like a familiar concept, it's because we've talked about them before on DNews. A telescope called BICEP2 is looking for evidence of gravitational waves of a different kind from the most cataclysmic event of all time, the Big Bang. To learn more about that, check out these episodes right here. These waves were predicted by Einstein, and in a nutshell, his equations predicted that should a massive object like a black hole or a neutron star suddenly accelerate, decelerate, or collide, energy would be lost. But in these cosmic scenarios, energy is lost through powerful ripples in space-time, much like the ripples that race across the surface of the pond after a pebble hits the water. So how excited are you guys about this new discovery? Tell us down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and keep coming back to DNews. We've got new episodes every day of the week.